Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara Just Saw. And I just went and saw Godzilla, Sultan of Agrabah. No, shit. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I was walking to my theater and the theater next to mine was playing Aladdin. And I really wanted to just go see that again. For the third time, I've seen it twice already. I can't be helped. I will die alone on this hill. I love the live action remake of Aladdin. Okay, Godzilla. I don't really have much history with Godzilla. I remember seeing the last one and it was okay. Pretty, I would say lackluster from what I can remember of it, which isn't very much. I, I didn't feel like you got to know the characters very well. The main character being Godzilla, of course, but it's a real fine line in movies like this where you either go too deep into character stuff and we're just like, well, we're just trying to watch some monsters fight or you don't go deep enough. And then it's like, well, we don't care about any of you. Well done. So I was a little concerned about that going in. Mostly I was just hoping it was a fun monster movie. I'm not a giant fan of Godzilla or for that matter, King Kong or, or any of these big monsters. I think big giant things fighting is a cool concept. It's really neat. Sometimes it looks great, but I don't know. It's not a genre that I'm really drawn to, to be quite honest. I wanted to see Rocket Man or Ma this week a lot more than I wanted to see Godzilla, but it's the big one coming out. People have been talking about it, me included, so I felt like I had to, kind of. And I'll tell you what, I am pleasantly glad that I did. I think the casting of this was really well done. Whoever the casting director was ruled because there were so many people in this that like I know, but I don't like know their names, but I like them. Like I know them enough and I enjoy their performances. Across the board, everyone's performances were believable, as believable as they can be in a giant monster fighting movie. And they were filled with heart and it was that perfect, they really hit it well, where you, you know these characters enough to care about them, but not too much where you're like, okay, but the monsters, where are the monsters? Where are the fighting monsters? Everything looked really pretty. There were definitely some moments, especially in some of the bigger fights that were really dark, and cloudy, difficult to see, but the fighting that you saw clearly and, and the, the close-ups of the monsters looked freaking awesome. The CGI in this was really cool. I'm not often bothered by CGI, even if it's not amazing CGI. Because I think if, if the characters shine through and if the story shines through, then you get the gist of what's trying to happen here. And this one looks beautiful to me. Again, not a wizard of CGI, but it looks great. I think the one thing that was really lacking was the, the script was a little weak. There were some really, really cheesy lines that, to be fair, you really come to expect in a movie like this. I feel like, I feel like you're going into Godzilla. And if there's not a line like, oh, let me find it. How many nukes do you have? If they're not saying something like that, then it isn't truly a giant fighting monster movie. You know what I mean? But it was like a little too far. There were some choices the characters made and these actors sold the crap out of it, but some choices that the characters were written to say and, and make that did not make a goddamn centimeter of a sense. No sense at all. And also in these kind of deals, there's, it's always the same thing. It's bad guys who do something really stupid that's clearly a terrible idea and they do it for power. And I mean, that's basically the gist of this. I'm not gonna spoil anything in here, but there's a slight twist of like who the actual, you know, bad guy seeking power is and kind of what their motives are. And then like a good redemption arc there. I was, it's a two, it's over two hours. And we got an hour in and I was like, okay, I enjoyed some things. For sure, there's some certain scenes, especially the monsters fighting, um, that I really enjoyed, but it wasn't like really, really grasping me until a definitive moment in the middle of this movie, middle to, you know, closer to the end, um, where it just completely, it latched me on, it got me right in the heart, it was super heartfelt, super action heavy, super, it felt weighted and important and earned, and then from then on out, it was just, wild fun. It was so, 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 so great after that scene. If you see it, when you see it, uh, I think you'll be able to know which one it is. It's just very like weighted and it feels important and it gave importance to everyone else's journey and story. And I really enjoyed that. I wrote 
I made names for all of the different monsters, so let me read them all to you right now. Big Ass Moth, Hercules Monster, Spider Bitch, Turtle Bitch, Scary Elephant, Spicy Bird, and Reptar. And Robot Spider Bitch. Sorry, I forgot about Robot Spider Bitch. Again, I didn't really grow up with, I almost said Reptar with Godzilla. The only thing I can remember from my childhood being Godzilla related was this bath toy that we had, it was just a plastic Godzilla and it had like neon blue, um, his little back spikes, you know the ones, science. And then that was very much represented in this movie and that was very exciting, brought me way back to great baths. I, I can't tell what's happening, it's dark and blurry, but it is cool and I do like what's happening. It's, just, it's very kind of blurred in, in some of the action sequences. Another thing I don't enjoy is like, um, like the crazy woman trope. <laughs> like this character, she's a lady and she lost her son and she's crazy. And that is kind of heavily used in, in the script of this. And I didn't love it. Again, there's some cool redemption to certain characters and I love that actress a lot. I think she's great. I think she plays an unlikable, likable character very well. And again, the casting was excellent. I just, the script made these people do some very different things than you would think that they would do. <laughs> Overall, the monsters look incredible. It's a super well acted, incredibly well executed, cheesy popcorn flick. But like, what else was it gonna be? Again, when you have a line that says, how many nukes do you got? <laughs> you, it's like, it's, that's what it is. That's the movie that it is. It wasn't anything more. Well, maybe it even was a little bit more. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Didn't change my life. But I definitely went in wanting to see other movies today. I wanted to see Aladdin again, or Rocket Man, or Ma, and I went to see this, and I'm glad that I did. I was pleasantly surprised. Last note I'll, I'll uh, touch upon here is that there was one scene where Godzilla comes straight up face to face with our, our lead uh, male actor, and I just wrote, boop, boop him, boop his nose. Give him a boot. I think it would have gone a lot better if he did. I'm gonna give this seven out of 10 hair flips because it was better than I thought. It was an enjoyable film. And from what I can tell, it was a lot better than the previous Godzilla film, that's for sure. So seven. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go edit, try to avoid Spicy Bird and Spider Bitch, Robot Spider Bitch scary elephant. Okay, see you guys next week. Bye!